Greetings, phoners. Welcome back to another Crimson Vow uh, standard ranked video. Uh, today we're bringing an archetype that I've really enjoyed playing. Haven't really gotten to play in quite some time, so I'm excited to bust it out again. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to catch me on Twitch as well. Description down below. You can uh, follow me there where um, I play a lot of limited, um, play some standard um, just to climb up the ladder, um, RPG games, Dead by Daylight, all that fun stuff. Um, and if you want to see more crazy videos like this, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. It really helps me out. Um, and yeah, uh, all the, you know, today I'm ex I'm just really excited. I think um, Orzov Clerics has always been good, um, and I think it's just gotten a little bit better. Um, there's a bit of a bug on my account right now. Um, I'm a couple, I'm 50 packs short, um, so I've had to make a support. So. Hopefully I'll be able to make more videos um, and hopefully they can get that resolved soon so that uh, by next week I can uh, show you some more crazy decks I've been working on. But in the meantime, let me show you what we're working with. So we got three Lunark Veterans. There is a bit of life matters in, in this deck um, and uh, life with counters. Um, so Lunark Veteran is a good one drop. I didn't want to commit to the full one drop because another one drop we're playing is the Olin, Olin uh, Bach S Escort. Um, good one drop and um, this will also allow anything that has a plus one plus one counter to get uh, lifelink indestructible. So really strong there. Uh, of course, this pairs off really nicely with Blue Monarch Aspirant. Um, and we also have Voice of the Blessed, which is a new card that we got. Um, so, because we have a good way to get life, um, this guy tends to get bigger, and if it has four more counters, it gets Flying and Vigilance, which is insane. And if it has ten or more, it has Indestructible. I don't think we'll ever get to that point, but if we do, that would be insane. Uh, three Infernal Grasp for removal, four Cleric of Life spawned, uh, four Borrowed Time for the Exile effect. Uh, Elite Spellbinder, I think, is always still going to be a very good card, um, especially against uh, certain uh, control, match, uh, control matches. Richard's Varker, which also gain life. Um, it's also a very big body, so pretty nice there. And we got Aura um, to get some a little bit of recursion if we ever kind of struggle with that, if we're playing against a removal uh, heavy deck. Then we got Mirror's Call, Agony's Awakening, Six Planes, Three Heart of the Eye Tyrants, Three Swamps, and Four Pathways. Um, I was thinking about playing Rally of the Ranks, but I just decided that uh, removal would be the better choice at the end of the day. Um, and uh, because Infernal Grasp um, is really good, especially in a deck where you're able to gain a lot of life, I decided to go with it. Um, so let's see what we can uh, do here. Um, going first. Okay. I'll go ahead and keep this. This is as solid as it gets, I think. Um, we probably want um, a 3-drop, so we'll see if we're able to get there. That is a 3-drop. Quite Not quite the one I was expecting. So with Blue Monarch Aspirant, you don't want to actually put the counters on himself because then you start um, bringing attention more and more to Luminarch Aspirant. So you actually want, what you want to do is spread the counters to other creatures uh, because that way Luminarch Aspirant is still going to be around kind of being a little bit annoying, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just exile the Lotus Cobra. Don't really uh, want to see it. Because we're able to attack the damage, it's still going to go through. Again, I want the attention. And what's also good about Lunark Veteran is that he has a Disturb mechanic, so it's pretty solid uh, as well. Looks like this guy bought the uh, land package. Very cool. So we're, what you're going to see here is if the opponent has a removal spell, it's going to maybe want to do it on the... Uh... Okay, I'm actually going to cast Aura first here. So again, I'm just going to continuously make Lunark Veteran with that. That is fine. So what's important here is that our opponent really hasn't dealt with um, the board. Again, if he gets rid of the Lunark Veteran, I still get the ability of Lunark Aspirant. And this guy has Disturb. So again, that's kind of what you want to do. Um... Play the Righteous Raptor. Ah, 
Um, I guess we win. Yep. So again, that's how you utilize the Nerd Veteran um, to its max potential. Um, don't want to bring attention to itself because its effect is so good. You want to make sure the attention is elsewhere. That way, when the opponent has to make a decision, it's actually a lot harder uh, than it looks. So, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a win. Easy peasy, right off the start. Um, yeah. Um, things I could have done differently. I wasn't supposed to play Aura main phase one there. Um, just kind of let it go a little bit. Uh, but other than that, um, I think we did pretty well. Um, opponent's going first this time around. Hmm. This is not the greatest of keeps, but it is keepable is what's important. I love, really love this new background. It is so just aesthetically beautiful. So. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. Um, so we don't really have the plus one plus one part of this deck going, which is super unfortunate. Uh, Valky God of Lies coming in here. That doesn't really change a whole lot. What's what's happening? It's actually really nice as that this guy has vigilance, so it actually really helps us out because we get to attack, and we also get to block against Valky. So. <laughs> wow, uh, Olenbach Escort doing lots of crazy things right now. Okay. Red, black, traditional stuff, I suppose. Again, he can't really attack with it, which is kind of crazy. It's just, wow, this Escort has... Okay, I was going to say. Oh, I'll go ahead and kill the Valkyrie this time. I think I want to set this for black. I'm going to go ahead and play the Spellbinder now. Just, I just want to see what we're working with here. Oh, I don't like any of these. Thalia's fine. I guess the Meat Hook is actually pretty problematic. Did not expect to see a Thalia. Doesn't really affect me all that much. Oh, right, and has no access to white, so this is really, really nice here. Let's go ahead and back. Oh, there's the white mana. There's Talia coming in. Talia's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and play Aura here. This gets our uh, stuff going. And now we have a way to protect Cleric of Life's Bond if uh, some removal cell or board wipe comes in. They're really nice here. Opponents have been in trouble. They got a little color screwed as well. I'm not sure why they're playing a uh, Rite of Oblivion. Doesn't seem like they're... Exactly. Well, that's... Oof. Well, that's a card. Yep. Gain the life. It's actually pretty important, honestly. Uh, this card's very good. Uh, so I can't attack here because I can give him indestructible. I guess the opponent was happy to do that. I guess we're not really close, so I'll just go ahead and play it through here. He knows I have Infernal Grasp anyway, so there's like really no point in trying to hide it. Um, yeah, I built this probably GG. It's fine. Can actually get something back, which is insane. And then all this stuff happens. Yep, this deck is pretty cracked. Orzok Clerics has always been pretty solid. There's actually so many choices of like cards I wanted to think about putting in this deck. So, um, like there's the Cleric from Strixhaven, the 3 2 where you name a card, and if the opponent plays that card, they lose three life and you draw a card. Honestly, I think that is a very good sideboard card. Um, I forget the name of it because um, I haven't used it in quite some time. Um, in a best of three, I think that card is worth bringing in, especially against like control matchups because. 
it's aggressive, it deals damage, and you just basically name a card that you know they're going to play at some point in the game, and you kind of get rewarded for it, so. Um, okay, this is a pretty good hand. We're not going first, but I'm okay with that. Uh, that's actually pretty bad. That, that actually really hurt, because not only did it cut me off from a land, um, it cut me off from a mana source. So that was, I don't normally see duress, so that was pretty painful. I'm gonna need to draw a black source. Ugh. Yep, that, that, honestly, that might be enough. That might be enough to just cut me out of the game, in all honesty. That was one of the strongest duresses I've seen, and, uh... Well, that was really unfortunate. I'm okay with all these removal spells. Whew. Well, I still have access to Black Man. Just, it's late, but that's fine. Opponents use a lot of their resources, so this is very interesting. I'm not really quite sure what to make of it. Um, it's fine. Go ahead and attack him. So it's a witch deck, which has been very good recently, so. It's uh, unfortunate. Ugh, this is so painful. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play the aura here, just... Only opponents tapped out. That way I'll get Cleric back, um, and then I can kind of restart this engine of, like, something big constantly being a threat, so... Oh, this is also pretty nice. I think I'll go ahead and play the voice here. I don't need to play the Righteous Valkyrie quite yet. Sure, that's fine. Hmm. I think I can actually start attacking with Aura at this point. I don't mind if he triple blocks. What do you think I bring back? There we go. All right. Now he has multiple threats. I got nothing this time, so. The rest is gonna, isn't going to be as good this time around. Which is fine. Should probably play the Witch first before that. Um, I'll just continue with this turn here. This is actually just straight avoid. Wow, this is actually just insane. I don't mind losing the 3-3. Three, three. Uh, yeah, this deck is insane. This deck is just straight up insane. I didn't think it would be this good. I will say that. I still gain life and get the counters. This is so insane, guys. I, I really... Yeah, Duress does nothing. 
I think I win. I just play the uh, Righteous Valkyrie and just get in the air. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> this deck is insane. Wow. I think I found my new deck to climb standard with. Uh. I have to admit, Duressas I don't think are the is the best card to bring in the best of one, but uh you know I ain't gonna judge. I love the art actually. The the glass thing art, it's really cool. Going first. Uh oh gosh. I will mulligan. I will be responsible. No, I need access. I don't know if I... Oh, gosh. That feels bad. In all honesty, that feels bad. And here we go. Man. I'm sure they'll trade, but... That sucks. Uh, dang it. Oh man, I wish I could have kept the other hand. Alright, yep, we definitely remove that. Just, nope. Definitely can't let that resolve. This is an aggressive race, but it is not in our favor. Hmm. Wow. New Kai, huh? But I'm relentless. Need a weapon? <laughs> I got plenty. Pretty well. Um, should think the that guy is worse, so just in case any recursion occurs. Yeah, the creature lands honestly in this oh, set are insane. Oh my gosh! And now Wolf came in. Envy the straw, a gift in exchange for loyalty. Kaya. A pity our time is over. Mm, I think this is working. Oh my gosh, another one. I'm here on Gatewatch business, so stay out of my way. Sure. Oh, I've got the perfect oh my gosh. What is this? have another one which is what's important all right we're both more or less in top deck city but just how i showed you you got this
All right, opponent ran out of resources. I'm telling you, the creature lives from AFR are actually just straight up insane. Um, do we do one more to get the plat? Yeah, I guess we do. Uh, yeah, the AFR lands are, I think, very underground. Are they telling me my packs are finally ready to be opened? No. Okay, I bought, so I bought one of the 50 card deals things, and then it disappeared. So they charged me $50 and then didn't give me my 50 packs. So I had to make a claims, and that's why and I'm hoping that it'll get done before I can, before next week's uploads, because that's, this is very important to me. Uh, we're going first. Yep, we definitely keep this. This hand's good. Start with five of the eye turn. All right, I just hope I don't get duress turn one again. All right, we're in business. All right. Solid start. Also, high of an eye turn. Just a better version. Okay. Kind of see what our opponent does here. That's super unfortunate, actually, but it's fine. It could have been a loss, a lot worse, in all honesty. Um, that's actually really unfortunate. Yeah, because I lose the aura, and I don't have a way to get him back anytime soon. But it's fine. Um, this might be an L. I've lost a lot of my resources, so let's just say fine. I suspect a Leer, so I probably... That's fine. Hmm, okay, yep. Now I will start doing high of the Eye Tyrant things. Um... Because I want to exile his stuff before Lyra comes down and ruins my day. Um, or I could look into his hand now. Um, I guess I don't really care about that at the current moment. Okay, now we can start doing Hive of the Eye Tyrant stuff, I believe. Yeah, Eureka doesn't, like, affect me too much. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, I don't think I need to start Voice of the Blessed quite yet. I'd rather just have more threats on the board. It's fine. Soul tie like a new thing. Someone, at least a. That's fine. All right, where's my deluge? There it is. I think we're doing pretty good so far. No, that's not great. 
but could be worse. Technically, he hasn't really solved this problem. Unless he just drew another... Sure. That was gonna happen regardless. So it actually probably was for the better. Uh, one, two, three. Yep, there's the Leer. I told you the Leer was coming, guys. Told you 100% it was coming. No! Shoot. Now I lose the reverse time. Ugh. are pretty bad but I guess the mortality spear yeah this is problematic I knew the leer was coming too which is what sucked I don't know if I really have a way out of this I could just have to force him to use uh, his stuff. Honestly, the Lear just has so much value on it. Ugh, it's become so painful. Just have to somehow burn through it, I think. Five by zero, sure. Uh, I think this is GG. It just, oh gosh. Yeah, I always try to burn as much stuff as I can, and sometimes it's just not going to quite cut it. Have to keep trying though. Oh man, this is insane. He's gained so much life. Honestly, it's probably GG. I mean, <laughs> this is so painful. He hasn't like really found a way to win. It's just I haven't either. Well, I mean, I do. It's just I have to burn his, all his resources somehow. And I just don't know if it's possible. Like, Lyra's just coming in, smacking me in the face. Alright. <laughs> Jesus. I know he has it. I know he does. I'm just trying, I guess. Just trying all my outs. Oh man. Got I'm going to keep trying. Oh, he has negate though.
Oh, it's whenever you cast a spell. I thought it... Oh, all right. Well, we were close, but Lear just has so much insane value, honestly. But, hey, we did pretty good, I have to say. Especially with some cards that I wanted to craft that I'm not able to do so right now. So, I'll take it. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, be sure to follow me on Twitch and, um, you know, like, subscribe, hit that bell, whatever suits your suits your fancy, all that good stuff. Um, uh, right now, YouTube is showing you video of my most recent upload. And right below that is a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. So go ahead, check those videos out. Really helps me out. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next Nerd Phil.